Dear colleagues, my name is Pavel Mashkin. I am the general director of Prom Avatar. Today, I'm going to take you on a short but productive journey tagged Saving Resources, Ingredients and Raw Materials in Production of Carbonated Drinks. Let's analyse what losses can mean in this industry and then we'll talk about how Prom Avatar technology helps reduce them in the production of carbonated drinks. Losses can be divided into temporary loss of raw materials and loss of ingredients. Temporary losses include those caused by equipment downtime. Such downtime can be either planned or unplanned. All types of losses can be expressed in financial terms. Planned downtime is required for equipment maintenance, scheduled washing, and change in formats. As my colleague Oleg Logoshov says, do the servicing of the equipment as planned before it stops on its own. Such downtime is necessary as it affects the efficiency of the production line. Unscheduled downtime includes emergency stops due to equipment breakdowns and such unscheduled stops affect the overall quality of the product being released. Unplanned downtime occurs due to non-compliance with maintenance schedules as well as due to insufficient qualification of personnel who work on the line. The losses of raw materials include losses of preforms, bottles, glass and aluminium cans, lids and labels, films, cardboard and pallets. We include nitrogen, working air, electricity, water, syrup, CO2, and so on, in terms of the loss of ingredients and working media. As you understand, there are obvious losses, such as product defects, foaming of the product during bottling, packaging, and label defects. There are hidden losses arising from exceeding the standards, such as overfilling of the drink, over-expenditure of the film on the packaging and wrapping machine, and as well as excessive consumption of electricity, air and carbon dioxide. Such losses are not given enough attention, but they can lead to a significant deficit. Today, I would like to talk about Prom Avatar solutions, which affect the quality of CO2 dissolution in a drink, which contributes to an increase in the efficiency of filling carbonated drinks and reduction of the losses. Let's consider an example. The preparation of a highly foaming drink with a CO2 content of 8.2 grams per liter. From experience, in order to dissolve such a quantity of CO2 content in a drink, the water and ingredients must be cooled, and many resources are spent on electricity to achieve this. It is necessary to increase the pressure in the tanks at the bottling unit and saturators as a result of this, there is a reduction of the efficiency of CO2 used. As we know, the average efficiency of CO2 used in the preparation of a carbonated drink ranges from 50 to 60 percent. To get 8.2 grams of CO2 in a bottle, you need to consume 16.4 grams of CO2. During the filling of a highly carbonated drink, its foaming negatively affects the performance of the filling unit and the amount of product produced. After pouring a cold product into a package, condensation forms on the container due to the temperature difference between the drink and the environment. Condensation impacts the quality of sticking labels, excise stamps, and also leads to soaking of the interlayer cardboard, which in turn leads to the collapse of the finished pallets. Many manufacturers have resorted to blowing warm air, which leads to additional energy costs. As a result, we get the necessary product, but we have many problems that are difficult to control and the elimination of what requires a lot of resources. They are invisible costs for the manufacturer, which does not understand how to manage them. For example, how to increase the efficiency of bottling. But such methods exist. And now let's think about how to solve this problem. To get a quality product with the required CO2 content, to fill without foaming and without condensation. 
knowing how to reduce CO2 consumption by 5% or more, how to reduce energy consumption, and also reducing the financial costs. All these issues together are solved by our company, Prom Avatar. We develop and accompany projects for the modernization of saturators and mixer saturators. The purpose is to achieve a high quality dissolution of CO2 in a drink. We solve the problems that can arise when filling highly carbonated and foamy drinks. The technology used by our company was created back in the 1980s by Soviet scientists. The chief author of this invention is Igor Gontorok. This technology is officially patented. At the moment, we are working with a number of large companies that have provided positive feedback indicating effectiveness of the technology and obtaining the results that I spoke about earlier. That is, it gives the ability to bottle at high temperatures, as high as up to 20 degrees Celsius. It also allows the ability to qualitatively bind CO2 with a drink, permits to reduce CO2 consumption by 5% or more, and it also influences indirect indicators such as label and cardboard defects which many production sites face.